response. Okay, Linda? Okay, um, I want to talk about financial best practices and my opinion, this is my opinion, so I would appreciate nobody interrupting me until the end. Please do not interrupt me. Um, as you all know, if you read my email, I volunteered to pay for a couple of lights and a dimmer switch and you know some patching of the ceiling in the farmer's kitchen or dining area. This started nine months ago. I worked for the firefighters. They decided what they wanted. I wrote detailed email to the district manager. We talked about it and then nothing happened and nothing happened. And then there was another email that said, well, the I, captains are gonna work on it. And then I ended up in the hospital and was out of Kaput for a few months. And when I finally found out, follow up again, follow up again, well, nothing's been done, nothing's been done. I'll look into it, I'll blah, 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 blah. In the meantime, I finally decided to get this project going. I didn't want it to be a year project, which I didn't have a project like the kitchen was. This is a teeny, teeny little project, a couple lights, a dimmer switch. I didn't want it going on and on and on, so I brought over a check for $1,500 as a donation for the project. And I had explained to the district uh, manager that if it was more, I would pay more. If it was less, we'd save the money for something else. No problem. At least that's what I thought when he and I talked. I don't believe I had that written down in one of my follow-ups until he thinks I did recently. So I am absolutely disgusted, first of all, that this project this little teeny, teeny, teeny project has been going on so long. I'm also thinking it's very, very bad practice to take a check for $1,500 and just hang out with it for a month or two. Let's just see what happens. When people sign up for the pool, you take their money. When people sign up for camps, you take their money. When people sign up for classes, you take their money. And then if somebody you know, gets hurt or moves out or doesn't want to do it anymore, you give them a refund. You don't hang around with checks. Oh, checks here, checks there, checks everywhere. Um, I think it was very bad practice to hang on to a $1,500 check that came out of my IRA that I donated last December. Here it is, February. Nothing's been happening. I haven't received an acknowledgement thanking me for the donation. Um, I haven't, I, I certainly haven't seen any progress in anything happening. And I just think you guys ought to figure out what you're doing with certain checks. And maybe it's a little bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the Barnello thing. You know, let's just aggravate Barnello a little bit more by hanging on to a check. Ah, you know, passive aggressiveness. Some of you know what passive aggressiveness is. And I'm just thinking that there should be something that says if you get a check from somebody that's a donation for the fire department, then stick it somewhere, not just in a drawer or something like that. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And this is nine months for two teeny little lights and a dimmer switch, nine months. That's all I want to say. Okay, thank you. Understood.